Hello, please. Yes, I'd like to report a stock. Yes, I'll hold. Ethan, are you sure you want to do this to Pilar's daughter? I mean, Pilar's worked for our family since we were children. She'll be so hurt. Sheridan, I hate to do this to Pilar, but I don't have a choice. I mean, not after this last incident Teresa caused. Can't be happening. I'm sorry, but if I don't turn Teresa in and she causes accidents like this to other people, I will feel responsible. I have to have her arrested. I hope it's not too late. But I've got to do this for Teresa. I've just got to. Teresa, thanks for finding my shoes. You said you had something to tell me? Yeah, I do. Is his home. I don't know if I can bear to face him. He'll be so disappointed in me. He's smiling. That's a good sign. Ethan must not have called yet. But he will. Lisa's not going to understand. I'm going to jail. But if um, you're late for coaching basketball, I guess he can wait. I am a little late. Do you mind? No, no, go ahead. No, wait, wait, I, I changed my mind. I really do have something to tell you, Louise. Did Jimmy pack this? Might as well. It's your first cousin. Oh, why didn't that brat Charity just die? We had a very nice little life going for us here, Jimmy. Jimmy liked it here, too. Except for that mean old cat, Fluffy. If Charity had died the way she should have, we wouldn't have to move. was a beauty. Not since the Salem witch trials have I seen such a fire. It killed Charity's mother, didn't it? Yes, but not Charity. And now she's regaining consciousness, which is not good news for us, Timmy. You can't cause any more fires? No. No more fires. I've lost my powers. So, we have no choice but to leave Harmony. Timmy's afraid. Where will Timmy and Dad will go, Princess? To the circus, I guess. The circus? No! Timmy hates sawdust! Where's Miguel? He's supposed to be coming to basketball practice. Maybe Charity woke up and remembered Miguel, and he's holding her in his arms right now. Maybe I'll... I wonder how Charity's really gonna feel about Miguel when she wakes up. I know how you want her to feel terrified. Yeah. Putting the subliminal messages on that tape was my best idea yet. tape I made for Charity works, then she won't want to have anything to do with him. Miguel will be mine. I wonder if Charity will recognize me when she wakes up again. Miguel. Miguel. Charity. 
It's Miguel. Did you say something? Did you say my name? I would hold the hand of the one who could leave my places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet I'm getting worried, Simone. If Miguel doesn't show up soon, then it could mean that tape I made didn't work. Maybe Charity didn't hear those subliminal messages long enough. And I don't mind telling you, Kay, I hope she didn't. Some friend you are. I'm a good friend to you, Kay. But you're not playing fair. Fair schmear. I love Miguel more than she ever could. It makes me sick to think that Charity could be in his arms right now. Come on. Sink it! Yeah! Nice shot. Thanks, Hank. Look, Kay, your boyfriend's showing up for you. Miguel? <laughs> Dream on. I was talking about Reese. You should blow him a kiss, Kay. He thinks you're here to watch him. Did the creature say something? The creature knows I'm only interested in one boy. <sighs> Give it up, Kay. Miguel has made it perfectly clear he has no interest in you except as a pal. You don't know anything, so just shut up. I know one thing. You didn't make that music tape to help Charity get her memory back. <sighs> How can you say that? Charity's our cousin. I want her to feel better. You want Miguel for yourself, and you'll do anything to get Charity out of the picture. I bet a year's allowance you're up to something, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Charity, did you call my name? Miguel, how is she? Did she wake up again? Hi, Mrs. Bennett, no. She's still out of it. I was hoping she would have woken up by now and recognized you. I was hoping the same thing. I mean, I thought I heard her say my name a minute ago, but maybe I just imagined it. Look, you have been here so long. Why don't you take a break, get some air, try to think about something else for a change? I'm not sure I can think about anything else, Mrs. Bennett. <sighs> Miguel, you should try. I mean, I can stay here with my niece. I think Kay said something about you having basketball practice today down at the youth center. Oh, that's right, I, I do. Well, then why don't you go? I mean, sitting here hour after hour, it isn't doing you any good, and you need to have your strength for charity when she wakes up. You're right. Well, then go. No, I can look after her. You don't have to worry about charity. Thanks, Mrs. Bennett. Okay. See you later. Timmy, will you? Wake up! I haven't got time for these histrionics. I have too much on my mind to have to baby you. Sorry. Shape up, will you? It's just the thought of being in a circus makes me dizzy. But Timmy will be okay. As long as he's with his princess. Oh. Damn the rotten luck of it. We wouldn't have to be packing up now if... Grace hadn't walked in on me when I was snuffing the life out of that kid. Just a few more seconds. Mom, Dad, I was just coming back to Charity's room. Rats! How's she doing, nurse? Hanging in. point in rehashing my failure. I've lost my powers. I'm useless. You will never be useless in Timmy's eyes, Princess. You tried to get rid of Charity. Yes, I tried, Timmy, but I failed. I failed. It's results that count. 
I never thought I'd see the day where I have to leave Harmony with my tail between my legs. You have a tail? That's a figure of speech, dummy. Oh, it, it'll take a miracle to save us now. And unfortunately, miracles have never been my strong suit. Teresa, you need to talk to me and I'm rushing out. I'm sorry. No, don't be. You know, I haven't been here much for you lately. It's okay. No, it's not. I'm your big brother and I'm supposed to know what's going on with your life. So what's going on? How's school? School's fine. You sure? I mean, look, I know I'm hard on you sometimes, but it's just because I'm protecting you from the cranes. I know. I'm so grateful that you kept your distance from Ethan Crane and forgot about your fantasies of marrying him. I'm proud of you, Teresa. Well, Luis, that's kind but of... Listen, I'm really late, okay? I promise we'll talk when I get home. Okay. I want to hear all about everything that's going on, okay? Later, right? See you, kiddo. I really need to talk to someone. Why did Whitney leave me? Mama? Hi. Teresa. I've been thinking about you all day. I hope that you are grateful to Ethan for not calling the police on you. Oh, I am, Mama. Do you realize that if he had exposed you as the stalker, you would have wound up in jail. I would have been fired, and, and Luis, well, Luis would have gone crazy. I know, Mama. Teresa. For your sake and the sake of this family, por favor, stay away from Ethan. Well, that's just it, Mama. It's too late. I can be arrested any minute now, and our whole family will be out on the street, and it's all my fault. Uh, no, look, it's not a crime in progress. It's... Yes, I'll hold. Bureaucracy. <laughs> Even in a small town like Harmony. Well, I wish I could wait with you, but I'm due at the youth center. I bet you're not looking forward to that. No. The sooner I get through this hundred hours of community service, the happier I'll be. You know, I'm still amazed how the Lopez Fitzgerald brother-sister team have taken over our lives. Yes? Hi. I'm uh, Whitney Russell. I'm Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald's friend. Yes? Is Ethan here? Um, he is, but he's busy. Can I please just speak to you really quickly? It's very important. It's all right, Sheridan. Let her in. You can go on to your appointment. All right. See you later. Bye. Right. I suppose Teresa sent you here to plead her case, huh? No, she doesn't know I'm here. And well, whatever you want, it's too late. I'm on the phone with the police right now. I'm about to report her. Oh, please hang up. I'm sorry, but Teresa left me no other choice. I mean, with hours of her promising me there would be no more incidents, I mean, I had egg yolk all over my head. I mean, the girl's behavior is irrational. She needs help. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'd like to report a crime under the stalker law. What are you doing? Dr. Russell thinks she'll be waking up soon. I have been praying very hard that she will be well. But I dread having to tell you about your mother. It's going to be such a terrible shock to you. And I am so sorry for the pain that you are going to have to feel. your family now and we are going to see to it that you are well oh, God, is history repeating itself 20 years ago I was rescued from a fire and I couldn't remember who I was who anybody was I pray that that doesn't happen to you sweet charity it's very painful 
painful not knowing your past. But I, I have no reason to believe that that is going to happen to you. I, I hope that you open your eyes soon. And if I am the first person you see, you probably think I'm your mother. My twin sister, Faith. <laughs> Dr. Russell thinks that'll be very upsetting for you. But uh, I'll take it slowly. And I'll explain everything to you. And your cousins will be here for you. And Miguel. That boy in your life that means so much to you. And together, all of us will help you put your life back together. Mrs. Bennett, you can go if you'd like. I'll keep an eye on Charity. Thank you. back, Charity. All right, guys, come on, huddle up. Look, we got a big game coming up, huh? So let's work on strategy. Hank will teach you the pick and roll, all right? I'd love to. Luis and I played the pick and roll to perfection back in high school. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, we won the state finals by two points. On an easy layup, Luis got off my pick. Let's see it, Hank. All right. saying? Did Ethan change his mind and decide to have you arrested after all? I'm sure he will, Mama. But why? It's not like him to go back on his word. I changed his mind for him. There was another accident. Oh, no. I still don't even know how it happened. Maybe I really am a menace. Maybe I'm crazy and I don't even know it. Tell me. Tell me about this accident. It was awful, Mama. Winnie and I were just, we were just walking along the street and I heard Ethan call my name. I, I turned around and suddenly this man carrying a huge tray of eggs came out of nowhere. I don't even remember bumping into him and then the eggs flew up in the air and I guess where they landed. Oh, no. Not on Ethan. Oh, Mama. I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. I never should have taken that job working for Ivy Crane. Teresa, I'm sure you didn't mean to harm anyone, but it's too late for regrets. I mean, we're a family one paycheck away from the street, and now we've got a very serious problem on our hands. You've got a lot of nerve disconnecting my call. I'm so sorry, but can I just tell you one thing before you talk to the police? All right. I'll give you two minutes to talk. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I know what happened with the eggs makes Teresa look really bad. I mean, she knew if there was another accident that you would definitely call the police. That's right. The eggs happened, so I called the police. I don't want to, but the girl needs help. But it wasn't her fault. Oh, I've heard that before. It's true. Teresa was so determined not to let another accident happen that she even quit her job working for your mother. And she loved that job. It was so hard for her to give it up, but she wanted to do whatever it took to make sure that there were no more accidents. I mean, she didn't even think she'd run into you again. 
Yeah, but somehow she managed it, didn't she? And suddenly I'm covered with eggs. I mean, they can't be accidents, as you call them. I, I know. Ethan, you have been so nice to Teresa. But as a lawyer, can you condemn someone without hearing all the evidence? Evidence? Uh, do you remember? I was there. I have all the evidence I need. No, you don't. What are you talking about? What are you up to? Tabitha, you are in a funk. How about a little energy? Let Timmy make you something. Oh, no, let's just get the hell out of here before anything worse happens. <sighs> Who's that? How should I know? Who is it? It's Grace Bennett. Oh. Something worse happened. Drat. Here, Timmy. Come on. Now, hide in here. And just be quiet. Tabitha. Oh, hello, Grace. I just stopped by to see how you were doing. I mean, I feel terrible that I haven't been here sooner, but with so much going on with my family, I, I really haven't had the time. Don't even think about it, dear. I should apologize to you for not coming by myself. You've suffered a terrible tragedy. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. It has been rough. Um, so, Tabitha, what's going on? Oh. Oh, just a little fall cleaning, you know, tidying up, throwing away, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. I mean, I usually do it in the spring. But, you know, we are having the police benefit tonight, and it's a flea market, so if you come across anything you want to donate... Oh, that's tonight, is it? Yes, and now that Sam is chief of police, I want the benefit to be a big success. I, you know, I, I see you made another doll. You know, I've got an idea. Why don't you donate it to the flea market? No way. I'm getting really worried, Simone. Miguel should have been here by now. Relax, Kay. A lot of things could have happened. Maybe his mother asked him to run an errand or something. Maybe Charity woke up. Maybe Charity woke up and didn't recognize Miguel, and he was too upset to play basketball. Yes, upset. I'll take upset. Then I can help him get over it. That jacket is fabulous. Oh, thank you. It's incredible. Are you a model? <laughs> Hardly, but thank you. Oh my gosh, you're Sheridan Crane, aren't you? I've seen your picture in magazines. <laughs> yes, I am. God, I've always thought you were incredible with Miss Crane. Thanks. Oh, that ring, is that a ruby? Yes, it is. Oh my, it's awesome. God, I bet a ring like that could really get a guy's attention. I suppose so. Wow, must have cost a fortune. Okay, that's rude. <laughs> that's okay. Actually, it was a gift. A gift? Can you imagine someone just giving you a ring like that? Uh, how can you tell a really good ruby from a really cheap one? Well, the redder the stone, the better. But, of course, the bigger the stone, the more valuable. <laughs> then there are things such as clarity. You look for any flaws, and if there are, how big, how many. What's going on? Shh. Ms. Crane's given a lesson on how to judge a good ruby. She ought to get a job at the high school. She could teach the girls how to waste their time being spoiled. Did you tell Luis what happened? I tried to, Mama, but he had to go to the youth center. He was too busy to listen? Well... I guess I could have stopped him. I was just afraid of how he'd react. I mean, he thinks I've been working after school tutoring some kid or something. He has no idea I've been working for Ivy Crane. Imagine how he'll feel when he has to arrest his own sister. Maybe I should run away to a place where no one can find me. Ethan wouldn't have to worry about any more accidents. He wouldn't press charges. You wouldn't lose your job. And Luis wouldn't have to arrest me. No, Teresa. You can get that idea out of your head right now. 
I've already lost some of my family, and I won't lose anyone else. No matter what, we're a family. We stick together. Oh, Mama. I love you. I love you too, Teresa. And I think I'm to blame for what happened. No, you're not, Mama. Yes. I should have put my foot down a long time ago and insisted that you give up these fantasies about Ethan. <sighs> Foolish dreams have caused all this trouble. the police. I'm not making a scene, Hank. It's only an observation. We're here to help the guys get ready for the game, right? Yeah. I mean, what is it with you? It's like you enjoy fighting with Look, her. I'd be the happiest man alive if Sheridan Crane never said another word to me again. All right! The team captain is here. Hey, Miguel. Hey. Glad you could make it, man. Sorry I was late, man. I was at the hospital. How's Charity doing? She's still unconscious. All right. There's still a chance that Charity won't know Miguel when she wakes up. Or if your tape works, she won't want anything to do with him. Oh, I hope so. Look at him, Simone. He is so gorgeous. God, I wish I could just grab him and never let go. So, when does the girls' basketball team practice? <laughs> we don't have a team. Why not? No one's ever been here to coach us. You're kidding me. That is so unfair. Hey. The girls never asked to have their own team, okay? What, did you ever think to ask them if they'd like one? Look, we're shorthanded on volunteers as it is. I mean, I can only do so much, and it takes a lot of time to learn to play basketball well. Oh, it can't be that difficult to learn to play. It's plenty difficult. Not that you'd know anything about that. Oh, come on. Bouncing a ball and throwing it in a hoop? It's not exactly rocket science. Okay, then. How about a game? You and me one-on-one -on -one when the guys finish practice. You're on. All right. Wendy? What's going on? May we come in? Yes. Of course, come in. Hello, Paula. Okay. Come on in. I am so sorry for dragging you into this mess. If the police question you, I want you to say that I threatened you, that I made you lie. Please, just don't tell my cause all those accidents because I was in love with Ethan. I would die of embarrassment if you knew how I felt. Ethan, you've been more than kind. And as much as I would like to, I will not ask you to give my daughter another chance. Do what you must. Well, I have to admit, I never expected things to turn out the way they have. And neither did I. You must do what you came to do. Yes. I deserve whatever I get. Well, I intend to see that you get what you deserve. You can thank your friend Whitney for that. Silly thing? Oh, no. I couldn't donate that to the flea market. Oh, but Tabitha, your dolls are so wonderful. You know, this one looks so much like the one you donated to the carnival. I know I could get a very good price for it. Oh, no, no. Th that one's damaged. Well, it looks fine to me. No, no. It's, its little head isn't screwed on right. It's warped. Very warped, believe me. <laughs> now, how about you, dear? How are you holding up? Oh, I'm all right. Naturally, I'm heartbroken to lose a sister I never knew. So sad. I heard that your your dear motherless niece is in the hospital. Poor girl. How is the dear little thing doing? Not very well, I'm afraid. You can imagine the trauma she went through with the fire, and we still haven't told her that she lost her mother. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, Eve... My friend is her doctor, and she thinks we should wait till Charity's fully conscious. Which well, should be soon. 
You know, the thing that is troubling me is when she came to earlier, she didn't seem to recognize any of us. Well, who was it she didn't recognize? Well, Jessica and Kay. Your own daughters? I mean, it's not that she had a chance to get to really know them well, but the one person that she did spend a lot of time with, Miguel, I mean, they were together all the time. She didn't recognize him at all. Grace, are you, are you saying that you think Charity has amnesia? I hate to think it, but it did happen to me under similar circumstances. Yes, yes. So it did. Well, this is, this is terrible, isn't it? It would be an awful thing if Charity had to suffer like I have all these years. Will you pray for her, Tabitha? Oh, of course I will, dear. Thank you. <laughs> I really should be getting to the benefit. Oh, oh, now, I can't let you go without some little donation from me. <laughs> Well, thank you, Tabitha. That's that's very generous of you. <laughs> there you are. You know, I wish I could do more for the community. It's very dear to my heart, you know. <laughs> well, oh, thanks so much. Thank you for coming by, Grace. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Yes. Miguel, how's Charity? She's still out of it, Jessica. But, but I think she's close to coming, too. I thought I heard her mumbling something earlier. I hope she comes too soon, Miguel. I hope so, too, Miguel. I'd do anything to put a smile back on your face. I know you would, Kay. You're a real pal. Louise, are you sure you want to go through with this one-on-one -on -one game with Sheridan? You bet I do. But you'll kill her. What are you going to accomplish? You'll see. <laughs> you ready? Go ahead. Get the first shot. Ooh. Okay, go ahead, shoot from the foul line. Let me see. That would be the foul line. Oh, thank you so much. Go ahead, I'm not gonna block it. It's a guy's game. We'll see about that. Whitney, what did you do? You didn't try to take the blame for those eggs, did you? No, Teresa. Or any other accident? I don't care what she told you. She's not to blame at all. It was my fault. I made her lie. Please don't take it out on her or my mother. Teresa, slow down. And Whitney didn't take the blame for anything. Well, what then? Did she beg you for mercy? Because she shouldn't have done that either. Teresa. Let Ethan speak. Thank you, Pilar. Teresa, Whitney is a very good friend to you. If she ever decided to get into law, I'd hire her right on the spot. I want you to look at something. What is that? Something you said earlier gave me an idea. Something I said? You said if they had made a movie about one girl who had caused so many accidents to one guy that no one would believe it. And that got me to thinking. I remembered seeing a security camera outside the chicken coop restaurant where the incident with the eggs happened. So I went back there. It turns out the manager is the father of one of my tennis students, so he knows me. But anyway, I explained to him what happened, and he let me borrow the tape. And then I showed it to Ethan. I just saw the tape. I was blown away. It had to show that I was at fault. Why are you dragging this out? Just take me to the police. Be patient and watch. I still think it was a cheap shot showing Sheridan up on the court. Oh, she asked for it, Hank. It's 
a damn superior attitude that drives me crazy. Well, I've got news for you, buddy. She is superior. She's dating you. How superior oh, can she be? Thanks a lot. Come on, Elise. You have to admit, she's pretty special. Well, I will admit one thing. She has a way of getting to me like no other woman I've met. A way of getting under my skin. Setting me off. I don't believe it. What? If she wasn't a crane, I'd swear you were turned on. Oh, come on, Hank. Crane. Never. If I accomplish nothing else today with our little one-on-one -on -one game, it showed her that she'll never be a basketball player. I'll show that cocky Ms. son Crane. of a... You call and ask me to teach you how to play basketball? Yes, when I need to learn fast. Thanks for coming, Mr. Ori. Please, call me Robert. So, what's going on? How come you want to learn basketball? I want to show someone who thinks the world revolves around him that it doesn't. That's how good I want to be. I got it. A boyfriend. Oh, no, never. Not in a million years. Come on, let's get started, Robert. Hold on. I want to call the hospital. Charity might have woken up. My whole future depends on what happens when Charity wakes up, whether she recognizes him or not. Okay, sooner or later, she will recognize him. Well, I'll take later. Much later. That way I'll have time to convince Miguel that I'm the right girl for him. Well, how's she doing? The nurse said she was still sleeping. Good. The longer she sleeps, the better. Charity has amnesia! Charity has amnesia! Charity has the Charity has the Charity has the Start unpacking, Timmy. We are saved. If that girl doesn't remember the past, she doesn't remember evil, and that means we have nothing to fear. All right! <laughs> Charity has the Nisha! There, you see that? Oh my God. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh my God. That's right. And thanks to Whitney, we now know this is one accident you didn't cause. Oh, thank God. <laughs> You're an angel, Whitney. Oh As you can see from the tape, I'm the one who tripped and bumped into the guy with the eggs. I falsely accuse you, Teresa, and I've come to apologize. <laughs> You see, Teresa, you're not a menace after all. No. <laughs> no, and this gives me reason to believe you didn't cause any of those other accidents either. Oh, I didn't! It was wrong of me to accuse you, Teresa. Oh, this is so wonderful! <laughs> Thank God, it's finally over. <laughs> you can breathe, Teresa, for the first time in months. Thank you, Whitney. 